Welcome to this introduction to verifiable credentials. What are verifiable credentials? They are a digital version of our physical credentials. Tamper-proof, cryptographically secure, easy to verify, and almost impossible to fake. Let's now look a bit deeper and understand what VCs are. They are digital documents, so digital versions of physical documents holding assertions about a subject, so the holder of a credential, as verifiable claims. They are temper resistant, they are resilient to forgery and alteration, ensuring trustworthiness of the data they represent. They are easy to verify because they are backed by cryptography and it ensures authenticity of the presented digital assertions in the document. They are machine readable, meaning they can and allow for automated systems to use them. They are decentralized and self-sovereign, so they are managed by the users. They are standardized and interoperable, like the W3 standard, and thereby boosting the interoperability across platforms and systems. VC holders can create verifiable presentations, so signed digital snippets from one or multiple VCs, combining different claims and presenting them to a verifier. To enable verifiable credentials, we have the trust triangle, which involves three main entities. The issuers who create and sign the credential, holders who store and present them to verifiers, and verifiers who check the validi validity of the presented credentials. What do VCs enable? We now have, through VCs, trusted interactions, which helps strengthen the trust in online and offline scenarios by providing the cryptographically secure and temper resistant proofs of claims about a person or entity. They make sure we have now more and more efficient processes in different use cases and industries, like ranging from onboarding to log into a website, checking into a hotel, or proving one's credential to a future employer. And they work across industries, from banking to mobility, the public sector, healthcare, e-commerce, supply chain, and travel and hospitality. So what can you now do with the Vault ID tooling in regards to verifiable credentials? You can create and revoke them. So we support different VC standards, formats, and DIT methods. So you have great flexibility when it comes to your specific use case. You can verify credentials utilizing both custom and predefined policies. So you have ease of use, but also great flexibility. You can distribute them, meaning we support the UIDC for verifiable credential standard. So you can interrupt with different wallet providers, issuers, and verifiers who also work on this standard. You can store them, so you can create wallet solutions for holders using different storage solutions. So now we have a hands-on look at how you can use Vault ID tooling, especially the SSI kit, your all-in-one tool for everything SSI related, to create your first VC, verify it, and create a presentation of it. So with that said, I've just cloned the SSI kit and I can now start using the CLI tool to issue the first VC. Therefore, I just type SSI kit and dash help. And here I see all now the functionality which is available from key management to DITs to VCs and the OADC flows. And for issuing a VC, I need a decentralized identifier. And I already created a few. So SSI kit did list. You can see I have all these different identifiers with different DIT methods we support. So you have great flexibility when it comes to that. If you missed the introduction to decentralized identifiers, make sure to check out the link in the description and learn more about it. Now let's issue our first VC. Here we see we have also different functionality available. First, we have templates that enable you to use ready-made templates like a verifiable diploma or verifiable D to create your credentials of. But you can also create custom credentials. So you build one for your specific use case. We have also different proof types available or formats from JWT to LD proofs, but also SD charts, which enable selective disclosure for certain fields in the verifiable credential. With that, let's now start issuing. So first I need an issue where I will use this did method. Then a subject, so the holder, where I use this did key method. Then I will use the template 
verifiable ID and the proof type LD proof. I will also use the interactive mode so I can easily fill in the data for the credential and save it in vc.txt. And there we have it, our first VC issued in just a few seconds. Let's now verify it. There I just type SSI kit VC, verify, and provide the path. This verification now just used our default policies, but you can also create custom policies to have great flexibility when it comes to your specific use case and what you want to validate. Let's now also create a presentation of the verifiable credential. And then I can type SSI kit, VC, present the issuer and the VC. With that, I created a verifiable presentation. <clears throat> now you saw one way on how you could create your first verifiable credential. You can also use our REST service, our Kotlin or Java libraries, or the CLI, which I just used. As you just saw in the demo, you can use our tooling across multiple ecosystems using different DIT methods. Use it with multiple languages, like with the REST service or our Java and Kotlin libraries. Have a wide variety of options when it comes to storage, so how you store keys, DITs, and VCs. And also have flexibility, extensibility, because we are open source. So you can leverage supported functionality or extend and build your own. So now it's your turn. Start for free and create your first verifiable credential with Vault ID. Visit our website at vault.id slash SSIKit or click the first link in the description and get to our docs and start issuing credentials right away. Happy building. See you next time.